This video is applicable for the installation of Arnott's coil conversion kit for the later model long and short wheelbase Cadillac Escalade, Chevrolet Tahoe, Suburban and Avalanche, and the GMC Yukon, including the Denali. Your vehicle may look different than the vehicle used in this video. Please refer to the Arnott installation manual that comes with your purchase for the additional information and safety precautions. Removal. Step 1. Disconnecting the battery. To avoid the possibility of short circuits while working with electric components, consult your owner's manual on how to disconnect your battery. Always wear safety glasses when doing automotive maintenance. Removal. Step 2. Disconnecting the air compressor fuse. Starting in the engine compartment, locate the fuse box. Locate the air compressor fuse. Then, disconnect the air compressor fuse. Once the fuse is removed, raise the vehicle. Removal. Step 3. Wheel Removal. Start by removing the wheel's lug nuts. Once the lug nuts are removed, carefully take off the wheel. Removal. Step 4. Disconnecting the shock sensor connectors. Disconnect the shock sensor connector at the top of the shock. Disconnect the airline by turning the clip 90 degrees. Removal. Step 5. Removing the shock assembly. You may need to use the floor jack to relieve pressure from the upper and lower shock absorber bolts. Remove the lower shock nut and bolt. Remove the upper shock nut and bolt. Finally, remove the shock assembly from the car. Removal. Step 6. Sway bar, height sensor, and springs. Begin by disconnecting the brake sensor. Locate and disconnect the ride height sensor by removing the bolts to avoid damaging it. Disconnect the brake line, which is bolted to the rear axle differential. At this point, you are ready to proceed as normal in the removal process. Remember, it may be necessary to use a jack to remove the bolts from the sway bar end link. Install. Step 1. Installing the coil spring kit. Check the coil spring orientation and then install it onto the rear axle. With the floor jack still under the axle, reconnect the sway bar end link. Install the shock and lower shock absorber retaining nut and bolt to the rear axle. Install the upper shock bolt. Install. Step 2. Tightening hardware and reconnecting sensors. Tighten the upper shock absorber retaining nut and bolt. Tighten the lower shock absorber retaining nut and bolt. Reconnect the brake line, which is bolted to the rear axle differential. Reconnect the ride height sensor.
reconnect the brake sensor. Install. Step 3. Finishing the install. Install the rear tire and tighten all lug nuts. Install. Step 1. Prepping for the electronic bypass module installation. Locate and remove the spare tire under the rear of the vehicle. Locate the suspension module above the spare tire corner bracket. Release the clip attaching the wire harness to the module. Once the wire harness clip is removed, unplug the harness and allow the wire harness plug to hang down. Install. Step 2. Connecting the electronic bypass module. Once the harness is removed, Follow the instructions in your manual to install the r naught electronic bypass module. Connecting the electronic bypass module for the short wheelbase model. The wiring harness for the short wheelbase is located inside the rear cargo area on the passenger side. Install. Step 3. Finishing the install. To avoid the possibility of short circuits while working with electric components, consult your owner's manual on how to reconnect your battery. Installation completed. Congratulations! Lower the car to test drive and check the installation.